everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a product review on this wine eyeshadow here. So this is by the same brand that does the wine lip tints. I mispronounced the name in the last video that I did a review on the wine lip tints. So I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna butcher it again, but you guys know what I mean, you guys know which brand it is from, I'm pretty sure by now. So this is what the product looks like. I'm just blocking the mirror because I don't want to blind you guys, but it comes with eight shadows, two are matte and six are shimmer. It comes with this double-ended brush, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm probably gonna throw it away, but just letting you guys know that it does come with a brush in the palette. And like I said, it comes with a mirror in here as well. This is what the box looks like. It just looks like the wine lip tints as well. It just has that bottle imprint on the box. And the actual palette itself is really, really thin, so size-wise, that would be really great for traveling. I purchased mine off bbcosmetics.com. I do have a coupon code with them. It is BB. Judy's reviews if you want to save 8% off your order. This time around, I didn't get it sent from BB Cosmetics, so I did purchase this with my own money because I really did want to try this sucker out and see what it was like. So what this claims is that it contains wine extract from France for a softer mounting touch to present a rich color. So supposedly the wine extract in these eyeshadows is gonna make it more softer and more pigmented, so that's what it's claiming for this eyeshadow palette. I've been testing this out for about a week and a half, so I really have my final opinion on it, so let's get to that. I am wearing it today and I did film it, so you guys will see how I created this look with this palette at the end of the video. So I'll leave a timestamp here in case you just want to skip to that portion, but I'll leave it here for you guys. So let's talk about the texture of the eyeshadow. So first off, when you touch it, it is very smooth, it is very buttery, and when you swatch it, it's very pigmented. It feels very buttery, very velvet-like, very soft, but as you can see, there's a lot of fallout and a lot of powder when you pick up product. That is not the best thing in the world, but you can always avoid it. Just make sure when you put your brush into the eyeshadows, make sure you tap off the excess and then put the shadow onto your eyes because that will create a lot of fallout if you don't tap off the excess. So texture-wise, these are very, very buttery and very soft, but I wouldn't say it's softer than any other eyeshadow. It's not like a big difference to any other eyeshadows. You know, my um, Makeup Revolution Iconic palettes, which are like seven dollars are very very soft and buttery as well I don't see like this one being way more softer way more velvet because that what it claims the wine extract is gonna do for these eyeshadows it's gonna make it more softer and more pigmented it's not even above average it's just average to me like an eyeshadow should already be soft and buttery anyway so I don't see this going above and beyond so for the scent, this does have wine extract in these shadows and there is a scent. You can't smell it from far away, but when looking into the mirror and I'm putting my eyeshadow on, I can smell the eyeshadows. It's really faint though, like if you're sensitive to smell, then you'll definitely be alright. It's not like harsh. It smells a little bit florally. I don't know, I don't really know how to describe it. But... Okay, going on to my thoughts about the palette and whether I recommend it or not. These swatch beautifully. When you swatch it, there's a lot of pigmentation and it looks like a really, really good eyeshadow palette. But once on your eyes, it takes a while to get that pigment up and it's a little bit patchy sometimes even though I use eye primer and it's not like it's my eye primer because that's the same eye primer I use all the time. And like I said, you gotta tap off a lot of excess off the brush and it kind of does create a little mess on your vanity table. Like I always tap off the excess off my brush but this has a lot of fallout when I tap it off. So that's not the best thing in the world either but a pro of this palette is that all the shades complement each other very very nicely they all go well with each other you could go from this end to this end and everything would just work really really well together but honestly the shade selections you know it's really nothing special to me I feel like for me personally the only shade like I kind of don't have is this emerald green which I am wearing today on my lids this is like the only shade I don't have in my collection everything else I probably could find something really similar to this rose gold and this um, glittery chocolate brown shade is really nice as well just to put on the inner corner like what I did today with the green I feel like that's, that's really pretty to do if you're not gonna blend with the eyeshadows you're just gonna put it on top and just leave it like that I think these shadows are really beautiful and the only time I would see myself coming back to this palette is probably picking up one of these glitter shades but other than that it's not my everyday palette it's not my go-to formula and color wise and the shadows do blend out nicely but I don't think it's the best and I feel like you can get something even though this is already quite affordable I 
feel like you could already get something else that's more affordable and does a better job anyway. I think the whole idea behind it is pretty cool, how it has wine extract in it and like, you know, the whole wine lip tints phase, but for me, I don't know about this palette. Would I recommend it? It depends because for me, I love like just adding um, a pop of glitter into my inner corner of my lids and I feel like I could use some of these shades to achieve that look. If you're going to get this for like an everyday eyeshadow palette, I would say, you know, have a pass on it because you could get sleek eyeshadows. Those are bomb. I don't know. I just felt, I just felt like my expectation for this was quite high because I did like the lip tints. Not every eyeshadow is going to have wine extract in it. So I thought this was going to be a little bit different from other eyeshadows, but for me, it, I don't know, it wasn't. So for that overall, I'm probably going to give it a, a 4.5. Yeah, a 4.5. I just feel like on the eyes, they don't pick up as well when they're hand swatched and there's just so much fallout when you tap off your brush. It's not anything unique, it's nothing special from other palettes. But even though I'm rating it a 4.5, doesn't mean I'm not going to use it. I would definitely be using um, these glitter shades just to like, you know, like I said, pop on the inner corner of my eyelids. I'm not going to use this as my transition shade or anything. I'm just going to use this like an eyeshadow topper just to give a little oomph. No blending, nothing like that because I don't think it's like the best eyeshadow to blend it's a little bit patchy so yeah 4.5 I think is an okay rate for this product on a final note I just want to let you guys know when I got this the um, eyeshadow pans were actually they were kind of wobbly like one was about to pop out I might have just got a bad batch I don't know but even though it's super thin and really great for travel I probably won't take it traveling with me Okay, so to get started, I already have my shadow shields on and also my eyes are already primed, but I haven't set them down yet. So taking the lighter shade here, like this is just like a vanilla white shade. It's one of the mattes in the palette, so I'm going to use that to set down my eyes. Now I am going to go into this light chestnut brown shade and this is the second matte in the palette and this is going to be our transition shade so I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and put that into our crease. Now I'm going to be taking the second darkest shade and I'm going to be putting that all over my lids. I'm going to take my blending brush and going back into that light brown, we're going to um, blend any harsh lines out. So I'm going to use this emerald forest green, olive green kind of shade for my inner lid color and yeah, we're just going to pop that on with a synthetic brush. You can also wet your brush to just make the shadow appear more metallic if you like, but I always do that with like more metallic shades, it just picks up a lot better. And then I'm going to be taking the darker shade in the palette and I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. And now I'm going to take off my shadow shield. So taking my angle brush and taking the darker shade in the palette, I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. So I'm taking more of a dense, like stubby shader brush and I'm going to dip it into the second darker shade which is the shade that we used all over our lids and I'm going to use it to smudge out the really dark brown on my lower lash line. So now to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner, I'm going to be taking the two lighter shades and mixing them together to highlight. Okay, 
So that's all the eyeshadows I'm going to use for today. I pretty much used all of them just besides this rosy gold glittery shade here. But everything else I did touch. But I'm just going to finish up my makeup off camera and then I'll be right back to show you the final look. So this is the final look with all my makeup on. And I'm also wearing the wine lip tint just because I thought it was suitable since we are playing with the wine eyeshadows. So yeah, this is the completed makeup look and I hope you guys do like it. So I'm going to wrap things up. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and like the eye look I created. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, found it helpful, like the swatches and everything like that. I try to make my reviews as informative as possible, but if I did leave anything out, you can leave a comment down below and of course I will reply as soon as I can. So yeah, like this video if you did enjoy watching. Comment down below letting me know if you have any further questions or if you have tried this product out, I want to know your opinion on this as well. If you agree or disagree with me, we can start a conversation down below and you can click here to subscribe to my channel and join my family and you can click over here to watch my latest video and until next time I'll see you guys in my next video.